my plate of poi pot is coming along and she just added the egg and I love she, she cracks on the egg and then she like chucks the eggshell into the bucket of eggshells expertly. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Good morning, everyone. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Bangkok, Thailand. There are many different floating markets that you can visit when you come to Bangkok, and there are a couple right within Bangkok. I really recommend Khong Lap Mayom, by the way. Um, and then there are also some really famous floating markets about an hour and a half outside of Bangkok in a province called Samut Songkram. And some of the really famous floating markets like Dam Nun Saduak and Ampawa floating markets are all located there. But today, um, my wife and my sister and my mom and our kids, a couple of our kids, uh, we are gonna go on a day trip to Samut Songkram and hopefully go to a couple of kind of more lesser known floating markets. So stay tuned for this video, some lesser known floating markets and some delicious food coming up. Are you ready for another road trip, Micah? Uh, according to Google Maps, it's 86 kilometers where, from where we're leaving and we're in the, in the Bangna area of Bangkok and it's going to take an hour and 36 minutes to drive there. when the dog just lounges in the middle of the road and you have to go around him. <laughs> we are following Google Maps and we're now on this small little jungle road and I'm loving it. Oh, this is such a beautiful province. I love, I love driving around these areas. Achoo! We made it. This market is called Talat Nam Taka. And the literal translation, Talat, is market and then Nam is water. So it's a water market. And I'm already loving the simple, kind of slow feel of this market. When you arrive to this market, you walk through this little entrance section, which is covered, and there are some souvenir shops. And then immediately you get to the floating market section. It has such a quiet, peaceful, nice feel to it. There are uh, plenty of boat vendors, some of which are selling ready-to-eat things, and then some people who are selling um, very, a variety of different ingredients, lots of bananas, some onions and some garlic and shallots, and then produce from their gardens, probably, probably right from their gardens right at home. And they just um, load everything up onto their boat and then come to the market to sell. But what I really like is how small and how kind of friendly it is so far. And I just actually haven't really walked around much yet, but I just came into the market, walked up this little bridge so I can just kind of get a bird's eye view of Taka floating market. Uh, so far, the ladies selling things at this market are all very friendly and they all want to see Micah. Looks like they're buying something up here. My sister and Ying just bought some fresh spring rolls and they are really hot and fresh, fried fresh. Oh yeah. yeah. Filled with mung bean noodles and maybe carrots. Mm. They're good. Nice and hot still. As you're walking along the edge of the water on the market, they have these coconuts set up where you can massage your feet. Kind of go like this. It kind of hurts. Am I doing it? What you have to Nam tan ma prao. It's coconut sugar. Oh, coconut 
You can smell it. You can smell it. Oh, it's probably it's supposed to be better, so I use that instead of regular sugar. There's a lot of good produce at this market, and also you can buy fresh coconut sugar and coconut syrup, and lots and lots of bananas and coconuts. Boy, Todd. Yeah. I am squatting down here on a floating raft and I just ordered something called Hoi Todd, which is fried oysters with egg and this is a beautiful stall. It is a, an amazing grandmother who is cooking up and she is using charcoal on a hot plate and adding in the batter, the, the oysters and then egg. Oh, and it's just going up in a cloud of beautiful smoke. My plate of poi tod is coming along and she just added the egg and I love, she, she cracks on the egg and then she like chucks the eggshell into the bucket of eggshells expertly. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Oh, I think that's some lard going in. There are bean sprouts in it, there's egg, there's the, the rice flour batter, as well as oysters. I asked her, they are oysters. And then also bean sprouts and cilantro. And then after it was finished, he dished it onto a plate, added some uh, cilantro and then some pepper. And I'm sitting down here with my, my mom to eat. Oh yeah, it's good. Oh, the fresh, crisp bean sprouts, the oyster in there, and then like the gooey batter flour. As we were sitting eating that oyster omelet, I could smell the smoke coming down the canal from the grilling skewers of Gaiping and um, maybe Muping. I'm not sure. I think she mostly has chicken, but um, that sounds delicious right now. Grilled meat on skewer. Guy. Okay, how many skewers would you like, Mom? ขอเนื้อเนื้อไก่ผ้าไหมแล้วก็ตับสองไหมครับเนื้อไก่ห้าไม้ครับเนื้อไก่ห้าไม้ครับตับสองไหมเอาข้าวไว้ครับกี่
This is a little, a little one bite, little gift. And you can see on the top, on the top it's very crispy, and then on the bottom is the pouch where it's wrapped up with the, the filling. Mm. Oh yeah, that's like a, a spring roll in different shape. That's fantastic. Oh, that is tasty. <laughs> Good. That's more tasty than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, that's what it's saying. Like, it was really good. Ying is having a bowl of kwai chap nam kod, which are the rice noodle rolls yeah. in like a, a, bites, a braised but... soup. And I'm having just bami, which are the egg noodles um, with pork. And there are some pork meatballs, I think, in there. And also some, um, some daikon. I think it's daikon radish, which is also within the soup broth. Let me get a bite with some pork and with some noodles. There are also a lot of bean sprouts in here as well. Bean sprouts, yeah. Mm, some good black pepper in there, or maybe white pepper. But that's just a simple, classic bowl of Thai noodles. Pork noodles. I'm watching them make something which is called katamat, which is rice, sticky rice mixed in a mixture. I think with coconut milk and then they add in a banana and wrap it in a banana leaf and then it's steamed and it's a very popular Thai snack. Uh, but she told, she told me that it's a bolan version, it's a, a traditional version. Very cool to watch them make it. Okay, so this is the sticky rice mixture that includes um, sugar and coconut milk. Okay, cup. Okay, cup. Cup and cup. They are making the cup of mat over a little bit down there, overlooking the canal, and then they're selling them right here. So I just got some of the cup of mat that they're making freshly right now. They're wrapped in doubles, and you unravel that. And then you got two banana leaf wrapped packets. Oh, and you can feel that stickiness already from that coconut milk and that sugar in there. Oh, and what I love about things that are cooked in banana leaf is you can immediately smell the, the aroma, that banana leaf. It has such a wonderful aroma. The sticky rice just sort of melts into that coconut milk and the banana. Really gooey sticky rice, and then just with a, a sweet and tart banana on the inside. This is one of my favorite Thai traditional desserts. You can really taste that banana leaf which is steamed embedded into it. We spent about two hours walking around this market and eating and relaxing. This is a fantastic little floating market and I love how it's so quiet and peaceful and very, very friendly. Um, they also offer boat rides which will look really, really nice. But with the babies, I think we're going to skip the boat ride. Although if you come here, I, I think I would I highly recommend the opportunity to take a boat through these canals and just relax. That looks really fun. And from here, we're going to go see another floating market, which is not too far away. Yeah, there's another floating market about 15, it said about 15 minutes away that I want to check out. So we'll just stop by there for a little bit and see how it is. It was an absolutely beautiful drive through the coconut trees to get here and that was about a 15 minute drive and this is called Talat Nam Bang Noi and it is right on the edge of the Mekong River. I can see it right up here. Oh, man. At first I thought that was a CD playing. That's a live band. Fantastic. Highlight of visiting this market. 
This is a really relaxed floating market as well, but it's right along the Mekong River, which is a huge river, and then kind of right in the parking lot on the side of the temple. So it's almost like a community, it almost has a community center feel to it. The girls and the babies are walking around the market shopping. This it's, it's, it's is a good shopping market, especially for little Thai things and souvenirs. And so I've taken this opportunity to sit on the bench near the, near the water and eat some mulberries. And mulberries are, uh, I think they're popular to eat at this market. They're kind of famous to eat at this market. And I like how she has made a mulberry, a little basket to hold the mulberries in and then put the mulberries inside. And then she put it in a plastic bag too. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. oh that gives you an immediate burst of sourness before any sweetness. Mm. Those are really good. <laughs> Micah! We're walking around the market and we came back to the car to, to feed Micah and also we are eating some snacks, so I'm gonna try. This one is kanam kluai. It's a banana grilled in a banana leaf. Long and skinny. Let me break break it in half. Oh, it's very sticky. Look at that. Oh, it's hot right off the grill. Mmm. Yeah, it's really good. It's nice. You can taste the banana like a tastes like a dried banana with coconut and then it has like a it's almost like caramelized on the outside I do oh my god what I really enjoyed today was visiting Talat Nam Taka that was the highlight of today it's about an hour and a half outside of central Bangkok and it's definitely worth the trip that's one of the best floating markets in Thailand that I've been to I just enjoyed the whole atmosphere of the market and then we just kind of stopped here just because we were in the area and those mulberries were delicious. I'm gonna end this video now. It's been a, yeah, just a great Bangkok day trip and good to get out of Bangkok for a little bit. And I really love this Samut Songkram province in Thailand and the relaxing markets and the whole feel of the entire uh, province, this entire area. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you click subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye from Samut Songkram.